PTC have recently launched Creo Parametric version 11.0, um, which actually came up with a few tweaks in settings. And I thought like I can um, give you a quick update on those changes. Hey there everyone, my name is Pritam and you are watching Engineering with Pritam. And if you like engineering topics and related videos, especially um, when we talk about mechanical or industrial, then you may consider subscribing to Engineering Pritam. Okay, now coming back to our topic, um, which is what's new actually in terms of settings in this PTC Creo version 11. So um, if I go here on file and um, if I click on option, now um, you will see that in system appearance, now we have got this midnight theme experimental. And believe me guys, um, I really didn't like this theme. However, if you want some kind of, you know, dark interface, then I would suggest you to go with this dark theme, uh, which looks quite decent. Um, and then this graphic area only, where we generally work with our 3D model, is only dark. And I would say it is gray is dark, not complete dark. But I like this light mode, so I'm going to keep it as it is. And as usual, not only you can select theme, but you can also define in you know, the kind of interface you want and um, even the system color. OK, so I would say it is totally up to us. And it was also available in previous version of Creo. However, this theme, I believe, is being recently added. Now, just like other version, you can further customize it. Let's say you want to customize the graphics category components for example geometry hidden line and it's totally up to us um, you know the way we want it to be for example now i turn sketch to black so if i start plotting sketch here so i will see the sketch is now black and there we go here we can see it looked different now um let me go here back again on file option and now if i move down here to model display um, by default generally it is trimetric but i generally want my default orientation to be isometric and uh, with a default angle at 45 degree now if we go below here you will see this new setting which talk about shaded model display setting and by default you will see it, the value here would be 5 but when you try to change this value this value is actually going up to 50 so this probably would be the highest value so if you are like me um, who do not have a very big or huge assembly and then at the same time have got a good configuration um, of system then probably you can increase this value to the max just like what i did okay so in this way you're gonna see the model are being rendered at max setting okay so let me actually pull um, this sketch here so right now what we are seeing here is a model at a max setting and um, since we have selected shading with edges um, here okay that we're going to see in entity so that is why we are seeing model like this um, I would say it totally depend on the way you want it to be then we need to change this value which probably would be medium by default you can make it very high then um, tangent edge display I would go with dimmed or um, I think dim is one of the best one okay then um, anti-aliasing you can again um, max this value so as I said in my particular is there is not significantly larger or complicated model that my system may not able to handle that's why I make it full then text anti-aliasing um, by default it will be turned off you can turn it on so these are some of the basic settings that I would say uh, one should do and then if you go down here, um, especially I would say this setting is very useful if you are doing sketches and sometimes you find the sketches constraint size are very small. Just make it, you know, the largest. Now let me uh, plot here sketch. 
and now here I would say um, you will see the size of these constraint is now larger than before and you may able to notice it easily if you have used the previous version of ptg Curl. now uh, again let me go file option now let's go here on ribbon i would say these are old settings that if you want to know more then you can definitely make a comment down below or you can also check out our previous video or older video which cover most of the settings inside ptg Curl parametric now similarly here uh, we do have got this option of selection priority which i find is new then um, notification data exchange so this data exchange also i believe is the new format for example um, it gives you option to choose the template that you would like to utilize to export igs step because let's say i do not make any adjustment there so whenever i'm gonna export this data or this 3d model that you can see here as uh, let's say IGS you will basically not see any data plane being created so let me again open the exported IGS here which should be in my desktop now I'm gonna select this file and let's click here on import or um, I'm gonna actually go to new and now I think I should uh, call that model okay this is this one and if I hit okay there we go so we have just opened a model which was IGES and here you do not see any data plane exists here so I would say now you can have data plane or whatsoever you want to add that in template and from here you can choose that template then we do have got this update control and then um, I would say typical sketcher and seat metal setting but in sketcher one setting that I always want it to be turned on by default which is sketcher startup so in my opinion this option should be checked by default okay so these were some of updates or changes in terms of UI updation I found in PTC Creo. I thought I will also share it with my engineering Pritam family and I hope that you liked it. If you have got any concerns or questions related to this video and the topic, please do let us know in comment down below and I will try to respond them as soon as possible. Till then, you take care and bye bye.